Hello world, hello YouTube land, um, how are you Trump, the Trump is fading, the Trump is fading. Because he's not doing what he said he would do. Countries are all about demographics and it appears that Donald Trump is going to um, be flooding America. With the kind of demographics that will destroy America in the future. That's not, not why Donald Trump was elected, okay. It was elected to save America, not appease Democrats and destroy America. Dreamers, hey? Well, the dreamers will turn America into a nightmare. And if Donald Trump continues to do what he's doing, going against the very people who elected him to protect them, then we're talking civil war in America, because as Stephen Molyneux says, nice people like whites can be nice for a very long time, but when they're not nice, they're really not. <laughs> um, white people have got a history, a bloody history of appeasement, followed by war. And if Donald Trump fails, or he doesn't even try, then Americans, I'm afraid, you're looking at a civil war. Because white people ain't going to go quietly into the night. They're going to fight for their future. And they can see that they're getting replaced. So I'm not going to say how you're trumping at the moment. I'll just say how are you doing. Hopefully quite well on this Sunday afternoon. You're going to be doing even better in a couple of seconds when I show you this cover. This comic book cover. This will cheer you up. Yeah, forget about the demogra demographic holocaust which is happening in America. And smile at a comic book cover. Well, you've got a smile. Oh man, the world gets so black pill sometimes that you just want to jump out of it. But don't you dare. You keep fighting. Stay around. The fight continues and it's not over until it's over and it's certainly not over yet. So here's the good comic book cover to put a smile on your face for this Sunday afternoon. Check this out. The sexiest cover that I've seen in a long, long time. Okay, she's got the Antifa haircut. <laughs> she's got the, the shaved bits on the sides and the, the blue. And she's a, a young girl who's in charge in this comic book. She's quite a psycho, actually. And I know that she would not exactly be welcomed by um, Antifa because she looks like she you know, really looks after herself. She hasn't got the, fla the flabby midsection of um, female privilege in, in America for, for, you know, Look at that. So I'm, I'm getting distracted in the end video. No. The, the face says Antifa. And the body says right wing. Don't you think? Left wing face. Right wing body. <laughs> Gorgeous. I want to make a couple of points about the actual contents of the comic book. The, um, the Antifa girl on the front cover, rather half half Antifa, half right wing, is, a, is an evil queen. Uh, evil queen. It's a bit Game of Thrones, really. And uh, there's moments of unreality that I want to mention. She, um, her way of getting people to do what she wants them to do is to be completely brutal and, and murder her, her own troops. I read quite a lot of history. If someone did that to their own soldiers, they wouldn't have any soldiers for very long at all. So in the real world, that's not how you get your get people to support you. It's not. It's no. Oh, the light on that. It's not. It's no. It's not a good idea to be completely brutal towards your own people, because um, the people will rise up and overthrow you. There'll be um, a new leader who will, will say to the people. This person is terrible. We need to get rid of them. And you end up getting assassinated. I've read a lot of history and it happens all the time. So the, the writer of this comic book doesn't quite understand that um, to get people supporting you, you, you have to be someone who people can rally um, around. You have to be a good person rather than a bad, a bad person. Bad, bad people make terrible, terrible leaders. And the person in this book is, is a bad leader. A bad person. So She's a bad person, so she, she, you know, she'd be a bad leader. Well, she'd be a terrible leader. She wouldn't last five minutes, basically, in, real, in the real world. Um, second point, do you know how right wing people like myself are always saying that the the boys who follow the Antifa girls are just big white knights? 
There you go. The funny definition of a white knight there is actually bowing to the girl and she's got a cat as well. I thought it was just um, something worthwhile, worth noting. And she's all about the feelings, this girl. He's saying, why did you help me? And she's saying, well, it was just the right thing to do. Feelings, feelings, feelings. The feelings thing. Okay, um, in England at the moment, last Friday we had yet another terrorist attack. That's five in the last um, last few months, really. Um, five in the last year, I think. Uh, so correct me on that, but it's a lot. We've had a lot of terrorist attacks in the UK. And the reason we've had a lot of terrorist attacks in the UK is because of people like her. It's all about the feelings. At the moment, I, I watched the news um, a couple of hours ago. The police are raiding um, some homes in suburbia, right? And they're arresting various asylum seekers. These asylum seekers um, were let into the country by a nice middle-aged boomer couple who got knighted by the Queen because of their their work for charity, because they were helping the, the poor refugees. So they were, like her, all about the feelings, we've got to help these poor people. And those poor people are getting arrested right now because they've been committing acts of terrorism all over the UK. So that's what happens when you help people out, when you let your feelings take over from reality, when you invite an invading army into your lands and say, well, I just want to help you. Remember that old story about the, um, the frog and the um, scorpion? And uh, the frog's basically helping the scorpion. And the scorpion ends up stinging and killing the frog. And as the frog's dying, the frog says, why did you do this to me? I've been helping you. And the scorpion says, well, you, you knew I was a scorpion all along. Same thing. In the comic books with the feelings, which bleeds into the real world, with terrorists being allowed into the West by people who are all about the feelings. They're the frogs and the people they're inviting into the country. Or scorpions. Okay, was there any other points? Oh yeah, all the leaders in this comic book are all, all girls. They're all female leaders. The bad guys and the good guys. The good guys have a Hillary Clinton leader. And the bad guys have two female leaders. A uh, baddie Antifa goes on the front and her second in command, a, another, another female. And they're all warriors and they're all tough. So... It's not exactly um, resonant, or perhaps it is. Perhaps it is resonant in the real world because we do have a lot of female leaders at the moment and there's a lot of chaos and war going on in this comic book and there's a lot of chaos and war going on in our own world because, because, of, our, because of our leaders. It's just that it's portrayed in this comic book that um, the leaders who are all about the feelings are going to win because they're the good guys and the feelings are all mean and nasty, uh, like the girl on the front cover. Um, going to lose obviously because they're, they're uh, morally bad people so it's one of those simple situations where you have the good guys follow their feelings and it's all going to work out for them and the bad guys are all angry and full of hatred and nasty and therefore they're going to lose so it's got that simplicity about it but hey let's face it I didn't buy the comic book because of the story I bought the comic book because of of that front cover and that's all I want to say about that comic book really have you ever seen a, a sexier comic book cover than that. I haven't. I am absolutely entranced. So, Rose, I don't really care about the content. I'm just looking at that cover. Whew. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, that's it. I end my video here. Thanks for checking me out. I don't play this anyhow. Hopefully I wasn't too depressed. Depression never works keep on fighting. Uh, thanks for checking me out. See you later guys. Don't the city hat and I'll I'll see you later. Goodbye.